The Action 7 News team is mourning the loss of a great and loved man, Howard Morgan. I knew him, never worked with him, but Joe did. Uh, that's right, Doug. Calling Howard Morgan a New Mexico institution it was really an understatement. Many grew up watching him right here on KOAT and later so with their kids and their grandkids. Howard had a very active retirement since 1999, busy with his gardening, paintings, and keeping up with his loving family. But sadly, this great man, this New Mexico legend, is with us no more. This is Action News at 6 from TV7, viewed in more homes than any other newscast on any other station in New Mexico. Howard Morgan's broadcasting career stretched 46 years, and during that time, we saw his amazing talent shine, just as much as his trademark smile. He started in television when the industry was in its infancy. In the mid-50s, he hosted a children's show on KOAT where a whole generation of kids called him Uncle Howdy. Name a job in television, and he pretty much did them all, from cameraman to announcer, art director, but eventually settling into full-time weathercaster. In 2013, during his retirement years, Howard reflected on his career. I gave the knowledge of the weather as I did it. I did the kid shows. I loved to do it and drew pictures for them. I still draw pictures for kids, as a matter of fact. But I love to paint, make my own cards. So television has been a real, shall we say, visual experience for me. In the early days, he used his art talent to present the weather like no one else, drawing a lighthearted character called Thermo to augment his weather cast. Back then, he would paint his presentation on plexiglass. Then when weather cast became more computerized, he went from plexiglass to pixels, a computer whiz. He created his own specialized weather icons and landscapes to present his unique style to yet another generation. In 2005, he, Johnny Morris, Mary Lynn Roper, and Jim Boggio were inducted into the New Mexico Broadcasters Hall of Fame. Jim Reardon was the news director of this dream team, and he often called on Howard to stretch or tighten a weather cast so that the news would end on time. Because of his knowledge of the subject and natural gift for gab, the stretch was seldom a problem. The tighten up was tough. He never let us down. In December of 1999, after 46 years of television, this legend of the local airways said this memorable farewell. Well, the final word is thanks to everybody because I really didn't do it alone. I mean, I needed the help and support of the audience. I need the help and support of everybody here. As you can see all behind here, they do different things, uh, very technical, uh, where they're running the camera. And without their help, I can talk all I want to about being on the air. But if it weren't for the camera people and the people back here, I wouldn't have made it. So I want to thank you and all of you. And having said that, this is it and goodbye. Oh, man, I love his smile, and all of New Mexico did as well. Uh, I first started working with Howard back in 1979. I got to tell you, I was a little starstruck, too, because he was so fantastic at his unique way of presenting the weather, and he was just this fantastic artist. I mean, I have a beautiful painting that hangs in my entryway that is a Howard Morgan original. I'm very proud of that. And he was a master gardener, too. In fact, uh, he published this book that went into several printings called Garden Lore. I remember when I got my first home, uh, I planted my own back backyard and I, I asked him how to do it and he gave me all these tips and he's just uh, an amazing gentleman he's got an amazing family I met some of them at the uh, last balloon fest and I've still been visiting with uh, him and his family at times uh, during retirement but we wish them all the very very best Shelley all right yeah, and so many viewers always still stop us and talk about him so our condolences to his family great story Joe